OK, a very good evening class 11th. Of course, this topic is even in class 12th and it is one of the important topics when we talk about alkenes. So that is your alkenes and today's class we are going to do about ozonolysis. The important part of ozonolysis is it is a method of oxidation of alkenes. Of course, it can also be done for alkynes, but in your CBSE syllabus class 11th and 12th, we require this only for alkenes, so I'll be doing that only. You're welcome to the channel by Seema Makijani, trying to make chemistry easier for you. Okay, so your ozonolysis for alkene is the agenda of today's class. And in alkenes, when they undergo ozonolysis, you will be getting two products. Now, these two products can be aldehydes or they can be ketones. There is no other option. So your products would be one of the two or it could be a mixture of aldehydes and ketones, both also. Let me take a general example for the same. Now, this is the alkene which I have, which has a double bond. Now, when we do ozonolysis, actually it involves two steps. The first step is addition of ozone. And the second step is hydrolysis in the presence of zinc. Ultimately, during this process, exactly what happens is your double bond breaks. And the products formed are two, as I said. So one product is from this carbon. You have whatever was attached. The other product is from this carbon, whatever was attached. Since you have broken down the double bond, instead of double bond, you get a double bond O in the product. So they can either be aldehydes, they can either be ketones, or they can also be a mixture of the two. Fine. Moving further ahead. If I want to do a stepwise process, if you are asked for the steps, then in that case, what you should understand is that the first step is addition of ozone. Now, when ozone is added, this is exactly what happens. The double bond is removed and an ozone, that is three molecules of, sorry, three atoms of oxygen are added. These are the three atoms of oxygen of ozone and a five-membered identity like this is formed. Now, this identity is called as an ozonide. And this is a monoozonide because we have made one ozonide. Hai. Please let me tell you this is unstable. So this you will make only if you are asked for mechanism or they are asking you to show ozonolysis step by step. Now moving to the second step. Now when we do the second step of ozonolysis, it is this cleavage which happens. This bond breaks like this. This bond breaks like this. So your oxygen which is left is taken by zinc. So your one of the product is zinc oxide. What else do I get? From the left hand side, you have a carbon with its two bonds and this is the oxygen. So you have a double bond. Vo. On the right hand side also, you have a carbon with its two bonds and you get a double bond. Vo. So you have two carbonyl groups which can be aldehydes or ketones. As I said, this monoozonide formed is unstable. So you will draw it only if you are asked to do so. Please don't do it otherwise. You can do it in a single step also. Let me take some specific examples of ozonolysis. Now, this is the alkene that I have and you have to perform ozonolysis on it. Now, for ozonolysis, you very well know you need to add ozone followed by hydrolysis. And what exactly happens? The double bond breaks you end up into two products. So left hand side may say you have a carbon with two CH3s. Right hand side may say you have a CH2. Ab jo double bond toda hai, uske liye satisfy karne ke liye, double bond ki jaga pe you have an O, double bond ki jaga pe you have an O, two oxygens are incorporated, so you are left with one more oxygen which was taken away by zinc. So these are the three oxygens for the three oxygens from here, the three oxygens are one, two, and three. So your products here are, this is your propanone, or it is commonly called as acetone. 
while this is your methanol or which is commonly called as formaldehyde fine let me take you to the second example this is the second alkene that i am referring to your interest is only this particular double bond in the presence of ozone this bond is going to break and you would end up in two products one product is this a double bond toot kya plus the second product is c with an h and a ch3 and the double bond that you have broken is compensated by a double bond over here and a double bond over here so both these carbons have now got a double bond over each of course the by product is zinc oxide the name of these two products are this is your benzaldehyde and this is your ethane fine moving to the third example now this particular alkene has got two double bonds which means you will require two molecules of ozone and you will require two times hydrolysis so you have an ozonide here which will be formed and this will break and ozonide here which will be formed and this will break now the products will be this is your one product this is your second product and this is your third product in this case you will get three products in all so the first product let me begin you have a ch2 you have broken the double bond so yahan par plus tha second product ki baat karte hain you have a ch then a ch2 then a ch2 then a c with a ch3 on both the sides there was a double bond which is now broken and the third product is you have a ch2 again uh, what is the result of this bond to be broken the first ch2 gets a double bond o this carbon also gets a double bond o on this side as well as on this side and this carbon also gets a double bond so these carbons that i'm marking now carbon number 1 is your this carbon carbon number 2 is your this carbon carbon number 3 is your this carbon and the last carbon is this which is here fine so you have three products in this case the reason is you have got a alkene which has got two double bonds in it moving to the example number 4 now in this example you again have a double bond and due to the presence of ozone analysis this bond is going to break what will you end up with the whole identity will remain the same only in sorry i'll just redraw it up for you okay the whole identity will remain the same only the double bond will be removed instead of the double bond these carbons will get a double bond o and a double bond o if i open it and write it down you should understand that this product has carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the rest of the carbons will have two hydrogen each to satisfy the tetravalency Now, if you can think of the name of this compound, give yourself a minute. Stop the video and do the name yourself. There are six carbons and there are two aldehydes, so we call it as hexane dialum. In some books, you would find it's written as hexane one comma five, one comma six, sixth carbon. dial but you do not need to mention 1,6 because aldehyde is a terminal formal group but that would always be in the end so there is no need to mention 1,6 is that okay please try to do the fifth yourself that is the fifth example that i am taking up 
Now, in this compound, first of all, I would advise that you open it up to understand what exactly is the structure. You have a five-membered ring. You have a double bond here. You have a carbon with one methyl and the other methyl. During ozonolysis, this bond has degrees. And the resultant would be your five-membered ring with a double bond over here plus this unit, a C double bond. This is called as cyclopentanone ketone while this is called as acetone in the common name and propanone in the IUPAC language. Now I'm doing a question number six. It is a different way of asking a question on ozonolysis. How do we go about it? You are given an alkene which is an unknown alkene. You do not know the alkene. What you know is, on ozonolysis, it gives you two products, formaldehyde and acetone. Formaldehyde is, just a minute, formaldehyde is a C with two hydrogens and a double bond O. Why? Acetophenone is a benzene with a carbon of a double bond O. And it has a CH3. Now, I have deliberately written it like this because if you know, when an alkene undergoes ozonolysis, the jo carbon pe double bond hai, they get a double bond O. Now, what I would advise is you will remove these double bond O's and join these carbons with a double bond yourself, like this. This carbon with two hydrogens, this carbon with one methyl and one benzene ring. Please join these two carbons with a double bond like this. That is how you go about making the structure of the alkene from the product. Jo dono products hai, dono ka double bond ho hata do. Aur un dono carbons ko aise jodo. By a double bond. So that is your alkene that you should know of. Agar iska naam poocha jai by the way, let me redraw it for you. Ek benzene hai. It has a C with a CH3. You have a double bond with a CH2. Now the name of this compound will be 2-phenyl. Okay, this is it. The name would be like this. This is the main parent chain. So this is your carbon number 1. This is your carbon number 2. This is your carbon number 3. 2-phenyl propyl would be the name of this particular compound. Moving to the seventh part. The seventh part is again a similar type of question. You have to identify the alkene which on ozonolysis gave you an acetaldehyde and a cyclohexanone. Cyclohexanone kya hota? This. Acetaldehyde is two carbon aldehyde. So you have a CH3, C double bond O, LH. Ab karna kya hai? Ye double bond O hatao, ye double bond O hatao. Or in dono carbons ko, join them with a double bond. So the resultant would be carbon. This is your cyclohexane. You have to put a double bond like this. This carbon has an H and it has a CH3. That would be the compound which is your alkene is your material is. This is how you go about it. Just take the two products, remove their double bond O, and join these two carbon via a double bond. Moving to the last ozonolysis of the day. In this ozonolysis, you have to do the ozonolysis for benzene. Now, benzene is this identity. These are the three bonds of benzene. Each carbon has a hydrogen also. Is just a recall because you at times forget that there is a hydrogen at each and every end. Now what exactly you have to do? What you need to do in this case is you have to break all the double bonds 
and the carbons of the double bond have to have a double bond O. I'll start with this particular one. Let us take this carbon as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. That's to simplify. So your carbon number 1, if I say, is this. It has an H. It has another bond. This is your carbon number 2, which has an H. Is that okay? Now, these two carbons are broken. This is my carbon number 1. This is carbon number 2. So carbon number 1 will get a double bond O. Carbon number 2 will also get a double bond. So this is what happens from here. Coming to carbon number 3 and when this breaks, then carbon number 3 is this. Carbon number 4, it is joined to carbon number 4. Each of them has an H. They had a double bond across them. So both of them will also get a double bond O. Coming to the last category, carbon number 5 and the carbon number 6. Each of them has an H. Both of them have a double bond O and a double bond O. So you actually end up with three molecules of CHO, CHO. This is called as ethane diol. And a common name is glyoxal. So there are three molecules of glyoxal which are formed. Let me explain it a little more clearly once more. Let's take this is your benzene. These are the three double bonds. And when you do ozonolysis, then what happens? This particular product leads to your, this bond is intact. This bond is intact. And this bond is intact. Now the double bonds in between, this double bond is broken. So, this carbon gets a double bond O and this gets a double bond O. This double bond is broken. So, this gets a double bond O and this also gets a double bond O. This carbon is broken. So, this gets a double bond O and this gets a double bond O. So, you have three products of two carbon each and both the carbons have a double bond O. That is exactly what I was trying to tell you. This is called as ethane diol or glyoxal is the common name and you get three such molecules. Is that okay? So that was my quick class on ozonolysis. With this, I end my class. This is Seema Magijani trying to make chemistry easier for you. Please do stay safe, stay blessed and very, 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 very happy. Bless you loads. Bye.